Hey, yo, what's happening guys? It's your boy Nick Che coming back with another video. Today we are talking about how to de-stress in college. I know that with a lot of you guys going into college now and a lot of you guys are already students, it can get very hectic and you guys know that that's not what we like on this channel. So today I'm gonna be going through some of my tips of ways that I de-stress and just relax and obviously spend time with my friends. And so yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, so number one, and I think this was a very important tip for myself, especially when I came into college and something that I didn't really realized until probably this year is that you need to take time for yourself it's easy to get caught up in the stress and the rush of college life where you're always going to classes you're going to your extracurricular commitments you're going to parties and it's easy to feel like you always have to be doing something you always have to be going out and the reality of the situation is that that's not true at all you really don't need to be going out every single weekend you don't always need to be playing this facade that you have this perfect life and that you're always doing things and you're always a busy person for me personally I know freshman year it was really easy for me to get caught up seeing everyone else doing stuff on social media like oh they're going to this party that means that I need to go and you know the more I thought about it and the more I did some self-reflection I realized that number one those things aren't fun anymore like going out for me is just the same old same old thing now that I just you know enjoy spending more time with my friends and honestly like spending time by myself and so that leads me to my main point is that you need to be taking the time to do the things that you love the most and that you're passionate about because like I said in college there are so many other commitments that you have to attend to and if you don't make the effort to schedule out one or two hours a night to you know go play your instrument or do some drawing or take some photos you're gonna you know lose your passion and lose the things that you're interested in and especially when you get to college like I would hate for any of you guys to not find the time to do what you're passionate about you know taking time for yourself whether it's watching Netflix by yourself at night or going for a walk or just spending time calling your friends from back home or your family that is very important not only for your mental health but also just for your well-being in general and you know make sure to check up on the people that you care about the most because you know your family still your family and at the end of the day like they're the ones that matter the most number two is you need to be taking care of yourself if you are constantly stressed out whether it's about academic work or you have midterms or finals coming up that's really bad for your, obviously your physical health your mental health and all of the above you know for me personally when i do get stressed out going to the gym for an hour and just in those ways going for a run you know just really helps you clear your mind takes your worries off of the things that you're stressed about and for that 30 minutes or an hour that you're in the gym you're just focused on one thing you know you obviously need to be getting your rest i know college kids get the stigma of of having to pull all-nighters personally I hate doing that I rarely do that in a college just because like I said I know sleep is important for me to be productive in the next day and obviously for my long-term health now for me a big problem that I have is insomnia meaning that I just can't fall asleep at night I just have so many ideas and projects running in my head that I can't force myself to fall asleep but recently I've been trying some products from our sponsor green rose and honestly it's been super helpful helping me fall asleep now green rose offers some great CBD products now if you don't know what CBD is it stands for cannabidiol Oil, and it's actually a natural residue from the hemp plant known as THC. Now a lot of people will get CBD confused with THC which is also found in marijuana plants but CBD gives you therapeutic effects without the highness of a THC. Now the great thing about CBD products is that it can actually help with depression, anxiety, and for me like I said sleep. All their products are pharmacist certified meaning that they are 100% reliable and you don't have to worry about the quality of the products you're going to be getting because I personally tried it over the past few weeks and it has seriously been helping me fall asleep earlier just have a better eight hours of sleep and anytime I'm dealing with stress or anxiety I know that I can just you know take a gummy use some of the oil and it's going to be able to just alleviate that stress now once again this is 100% legal there is nothing wrong with CBD now that I've tried it all I can see are the beneficial effects of it so if you guys are looking for ways to de-stress in college I highly recommend you guys go check out that link in my description and use my code Nicholas for 10% off I wouldn't be recommending some products to you guys if I didn't personally use it and trusted it it's beneficial for my own life so once again I will have that link in my description below now number three a huge way to de-stress is obviously have hobbies and passion products Projects. What I mean by this is that you need to have something to occupy your time when you're not just in the library studying for midterms or finals or any of your academic work. For me personally, you guys know I'm a huge musician, so anytime I'm you know just fed up with school, I'll go to a practice room, bring out my clarinet, and just practice for 30 minutes to an hour. And once you're in that zone and you really just focus in on your craft and trying to get better, that's all that matters in that moment. And you forget about all those externalities and the things that were weighing you down. Another thing is obviously passion projects, things that you are so passionate about and that if you didn't have to focus on school you would spend all your time doing this for me obviously it's growing my youtube channel it's working on photography and film um, fashion merchandise whatnot so for me so there are tons of different passion projects it's gotten to the point where i'm almost focusing primarily on those rather than my school work you know this is a personal decision and something that i'm making very consciously but for you you guys should figure out that balance of how much time you need to be spending on your academics but when it comes to that point where you've just been going at it for three to four hours you need a break you know 
just find something you're passionate about and have a hobby. Number four, going off of that, I will say that to be honest, academics aren't everything, especially when you're in college. These are some very important years in your life that you should be focusing on the relationships with your friends, with the people around you, your professors, and once again, spending time with the people that matter the most. You know, after you graduate, when you look back on college, you're not going to be remembering those late nights in the library, pulling all-nighters. What you are going to remember are the good times that you spent with your friends. And trust me, guys, you are going to enjoy college way better once you realize that academics are obviously important. That's why you go to college, but it shouldn't be your sole priority especially for four years when you're in college once again just take the time for yourself to do the things that you enjoy and that's just going to help ensure a way more enjoyable college experience number five to wrap things back up make times for the things that matter once again it's really easy to be focused so much on academics or the homework that you have that you put off getting dinner with your friends or you won't go hang out and watch a movie you have to make time in your schedule it's not going to come out of thin air you're not going to be able to just squeeze more hours in a day but what you can do is be more productive with the hours that you do have and block in schedules of your day where you can focus on the things that matter to you. I know some of this stuff may sound repetitive, but trust me guys, it's worked for me. Hopefully it can work for you guys that you're able to take my advice and implement it into your own routine and your own college lives. Anyway guys, that about wraps up for this video. I hope you guys enjoy these ways to de-stress in college. You know, I know that finals are coming up pretty soon. For me, I'm just going to make sure that I'm always focused on the things that I talked about in this video. And drop a comment down below, subscribe for more videos, and as always, don't stress. Finesse.